All right, I'm going to do a couple hardware mods to this MS2. I've actually already done one here uh, that allows for JP4 to connect over here. That gives you uh, an additional input. Uh, a lot of people, or the manual says, uh, for launch control. There's another one for uh, table switching, and I hope to play around with both of those things. So uh, this one was nice and easy. Uh, there's a little jumper there, and you just solder to a dip pin. So no big deal there. This one use this unused pin down here on the uh, actual uh, CPU of the board so you gotta do a little tiny bit of surface mount soldering luckily it's on the edge so I'm gonna go ahead and tin that guy up a little more get some solder hanging off the end of it and I've cut a little piece here I'm gonna attempt to solder on go ahead and put on the capacitor side first should be able to bend it into place. Alright, I finished modding my MS2 to add launch control uh, and table switch input. So basically I added this from jumper 4 over uh, to the pin right by C10. Um, and then I've added to this tiny surface mount pin here, jumper over here, and that actually connects in if you do a continuity test down on down on the base of R1 down here. So that's good. Nothing else is touching over here. <clears throat> and so what I still need to do, which I'm, I don't have the parts for right now, but uh, I got this proto area over here. Uh, where I need to wire in some input circuits, so there'll be little transistors there um, that will either take a active high or active low input and drop it down to the level that the chip wants. Uh, I'm not sure which levels those are yet, but uh, hopefully I'll do a video in the future when I get around to wiring those up. Okay, and on the bottom of the board, this is a uh, 420A specific, which is the motor I'm putting this on. Uh, I just followed the guide on their site, essentially. So, uh, wired TAC select in over to uh, XG1. Wired uh, JS9 over to S12C up here, and that's uh, basically to provide the stepper motor controller that's on the MS2 chip with 12 volt power. That's uh, what I recall, at least. Uh, and then I needed 5 volts over to uh, some other pin here. Oh, the top of uh, top of C30 here <clears throat> gets five volts from the proto area. So that's it. Pretty much the modified board. Uh, I got to add on my uh, couple of transistors here. <clears throat> 